probably one of the last times I played with him was here. Actually, he was sitting right here and I was kind of standing back there. So it's kind of neat to think that that was one of the last times that he was down here, that he would have been playing this fiddle kind of right here. And, and the last time we were up there visiting, Corey played that guitar. So we try to, we'll, we'll muddle through this morning without any, without any tears. But um, David was a really special man and um, he was really smart and he taught us a lot of, of really cool things about music and um, about second chances and, and all the like. So we'll see what we can do here. You wanna do that one? Yeah. I don't know if I ever played this song on this fiddle. <laughs> here we go. I'm still kind of learning about it. That's pretty neat though. That's the first time, really, I mean, that is the first song ever that we've we've ever, I mean, played out with these instruments, so that's cool. You guys were our, not guinea pigs is not the right word. Our test audience. <laughs> our <laughs> test audience. The first that's person right. that's ever heard them together with them being here and being ours. Hmm. That's cool. What else are we going to do with them? It's cool. Any and everything. <laughs> you know, this guitar probably really don't look like much, but but these old vintage Gibsons like this are worth, and it's not about the monetary value, that's not it, but they're worth a lot of money and I never thought I'd be able to get to play one because you just can't afford them. I mean, they're worth that, but so that makes it double special knowing yeah. it was his. And of course, yeah, the sentimental value would be, when the UPS man showed up, he brought all these big boxes and he said, what he said was, oh, I'm glad to get rid of these. I, I've had these all day. <laughs> yeah, and I've been having to move them around to get the other stuff. And I was petrified about them being shipped to us. And they were hot. I was worried about the heat when they got here. And the boxes were hot. And then the instrument cases inside the boxes were hot. So we ripped them open real quick. And he said, mind if I ask what's in there? I said, well, and he said, I asked because we have to insure stuff and these are insured and we don't usually do that. And I said, well, they're instruments and you know, blah, blah, blah. And I said, but as far as insurance goes, they're priceless and I hope they've been okay on the truck all day. And he was nice. He helped us unload them and he left and we took them in and started playing them. But yeah, it may not, this old fiddle too, maybe it's not much to look at. It's rough. It's been through a lot, but it don't matter what they look like. It matters what they sound like. They sound good. <laughs> yeah, I think you. they don't Thank sound you. half bad. Yes. <laughs> So, on that note, um, let's do something else. Let's do something else. We're going to play a little song here, um, and I think everybody will know it. So, if you feel like singing, you sure can. If you don't, you don't have to. You can just pretend. If that's what you want to do, you just pretend that you're yeah. singing. <laughs> <laughs>
for this song, Ruby in the Kitchen. This is one that one that Katie wrote. Uh, we had a little dog for, for many years named Ruby. She's a little rat terrier about that big and stayed in the house with us. And uh, she was, like most dogs, just obsessed with food. And she just, anything, you know, you you give her, she'd eat. She was always about food, but she's always in the kitchen. She wanted food, so. And we usually would pra we practice sometimes every Sunday or so, and we just get together and play music, and we usually do it in somebody's kitchen. And so we'd be in there playing and you'd just hear the little purr in and out. And so we wrote this song about her. Um, David really, when he would come to our house to stay, he liked the dog. He thought the dog was funny. <laughs> and she, she was kind of not a people dog. She really just didn't like anybody but us, but she liked David. She and I, I think she liked our, our fiddle music. I think she liked that too because she just kind of watch and listen. She stuck around for it. She didn't howl or run off. So that's nope, she never barked or howled, so I take that as an, a, a sign of approval. Let me check my shop string for a I don't think I ever played this song in this fiddle either. There's a lot of things I haven't played on this fiddle. David was sweet enough, though, when, when he would come down here and um, we'd play music and stuff. I, I, I said, you know, I've never really played any much instruments other than the one that I've owned because I just don't know a whole lot of people down here that, you know, I know some people, you know, that play the fiddle, but he was real nice to say, well, let's switch then. You can play mine and I'll play yours, and, and we did that a lot, and that was, that was nice of him to do. It's kind of fun to play someone else's instrument. It's kind of a learning curve because while... You know, if you play one fiddle, I guess you could play them all. They all feel different. Even this one feels different than, than the one I usually play. But that's kind of the fun part. It's kind of a challenge. Because it'd be boring if everything was the same. A dump truck or a tractor or a motorcycle. Moving too fast to be a tractor. Yeah, that's right. Son, if that was a tractor, they're about to total out. That would have been pretty fast. to hear and it's cool though I like it yeah what else you want to do I sing that that's a hard one but I I will accept your challenge <laughs> okay challenge accepted get my bangs I slept on my hair the wrong way and they keep getting in my eyes but I'm nuts. really it's just hard to sing first thing in the morning that's not really that hard of a song, but yeah, I'd rather sing at midnight on the top of the roof than I had in straight thing in the morning. It's hard to hard to do. Let's see if we can't do this song here. This is an old um, 
John Prine song. So we'll see if we can't do it here. <laughs> before me and Corey was born. I don't really, could be, and I don't know. Uh, interesting thing about that is when I got his case and I opened his case and I, there was some papers in the top and I got it out and there was some pictures and it was in a, they were in just what what pictures you get developed to come in, but I could tell, I'm like, this is old. This is not, this is not Katie's lifetime. And I think they were pictures of a sunset over a lake and it said August 92. So yeah, that was a good is. four years before we come along there. Yeah, this is August of 2021. Yeah. yeah, that was a long time ago. Like I said, about four years before we come along. I'm like, I wonder what he was doing with these pictures from the 90s in his case. I don't know, but they were really pretty pictures. I, d I can do you one better. I, I found a picture in, in one of the things. Um, he actually had this really cool little thing, a banjo mandolin, like this part of it is a banjo, but it's just a mandolin neck, you play it like a mandolin, but it sounds like a banjo, um, and uh, that came yesterday, and there was a picture in there, and it was of someone holding it, and so, of course, you would assume that to be him, but my silly self, I, it didn't look like him, you know, I mean, it was really, it was old, and I thought, who's that, is that him, and so I flipped it over, and it was him, and it was in 1967. 
So that's he, really neat too yeah. to have that picture. He's right. just really, really young. <laughs> you say the name of this song? <laughs> yeah, this is a, a little waltz that he, well, it's not really a waltz, is it? It ain't in waltz time, is it? I'll get back to you on that. Yeah, either way, it's a, we'll I gotta say hear it's, it a, to tell it's you. a slow little song he wrote called High Clouds. It'd be a really slow waltz, I guess. Yeah, something like that, if you want to be technical. Here we go. Oh, he was hilarious. He had a great sense of humor. We're going to close with this little tune here, and it talks about a place I think you'll recognize. In the mountains 
Happy.